What's up guys, Batman Collector here again, and I just got this in. This is going to be my fifth Tweeterhead piece. This is the Burgess Meredith Penguin from Batman 66. Uh, like I said, this is a Tweeterhead piece. Tweeterhead is a company that I like more and more every piece I get. I really love their company. They make kind of niche characters that other companies, especially companies like Hot Toys, will never do. Um, and I really appreciate the fact that they're willing to do it. So, all right, let's get this out of the box and see what it looks like. All right, so this is what you're going to see when you open the box. Um, usually there's not much to these. You get a base, which is right here. There's the penguin and an umbrella. Now, if you bought this from Tweeterhead exclusively, you would get an extra base that actually goes with the Joker piece, uh, which is down there. A lot of people didn't like the fact that that Joker base was so big. And so Tweeter had decided, for those people who wanted a smaller base, if you ordered the Penguin exclusively through them, they would give you an extra Joker base, which I don't need. My Joker base is fine. Um, I also like the fact that I have a um, an artist-proof version of it, so I wouldn't really want another base. So uh, I ordered this one through Sideshow came a little later than it should have. This came out like a month ago, and Sideshow, as usual, drugged their feet getting it out. But it's here, so let's get it up and uh, see what it looks like put together. All right, so I did have to push him in pretty hard to get him into this base. Uh, there's just a little peg on his foot, and I had to fight with it a little bit, but it slid right in. My Joker, uh, also from Tweeterhead, uh, gave me more of a fight, and in fact, I never did quite get it 100% in, but this one I got all the way in. The paint job, right off the bat, as usual from Tweeterhead, is very nice. Tweeterhead is uh, is actually pretty high quality. Um, they're a relatively new company. They're only about six, seven years old, but their stuff is really, really nicely done. The paint job, they often use, uh, what's his name? Trevor or something, um, he usually, he does a lot of the sculpts for them, and he's he's the best in the business. So I, I don't know if he did this piece, I guess I'll have to look at the box to see, but the sculpt on this is beautiful. I mean, you can tell that is Burgess Meredith all day. It's got a little cigarette here, you can see at the end of it, it's got like a little red dot there. Very nice. The texturing here in the suit is is true to the show it did have kind of a fluffy texture to it it just did a real nice job of doing that this is something that you know hot toys will never do this is once this is a one six maquette by the way so oh, pieces like this fit well with hot toys and this is actually this is my only my one and only penguin statue which is really sad and that's why i like tweeter head you know sideshow is too scared to make a penguin statue. And that, that's a shame. You know, we didn't even get one from Prime One. And Prime One is known for making, you know, niche kind of pieces. But Tweeterhead is the only one who is willing to do characters like this. And I really appreciate it. So, all right, let me get uh, the umbrella and we'll see how that works. Okay, so Trevor Grove was the sculptor I was trying to think of. He, he is just awesome. He did my uh, my Catwoman down there too. And his sculpts are the best, some of the best in the business that I've ever seen. But I want to talk about this umbrella here because I kind of screwed up. Um, there's a little hole inside of his hand here. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Yeah, there's a hole inside of the palm and the peng and the umbrella fits into it. So I was trying to jam it in there. And you can see here that, see here I scratched it. Ugh. I was like I scratched it just trying to get that in there so that's and that's not coming out that sucks um, it's not a huge deal it's not something that I'm gonna right side show about but just be careful when you're putting this umbrella in there's no hole here this actually appears to be like a plastic I don't know if the whole umbrella is but the top of it seems to be plastic because it's it's there's some give in it and it was bending a little bit there's no hole here for this to go in it just sticks out like this and the it kind of fits in the hand and it just it's just being held like that so not a whole lot to keep that in place but that's how it's supposed to look and it does look good but just a warning to anybody who doesn't have this be careful with that because yeah you don't want that that's that sucks 
Um, there's no edition size or anything on this. I don't know if there's any... Sometimes they'll do edition sizes on the exclusive, but this is the, the Sideshow regular, so no edition size. Uh, here on this little monocle piece, there actually is, there, there does appear to be, I don't know if it's glass or plastic, come on, focus, there we, there we go. There is some kind of glass or plastic in there, really nice. So, I'll give you a look at the whole thing. Yeah, I'm really excited that they're doing the 66 line, but um, recently Chad, who is the head of Tweeterhead, mentioned that these pieces are, are starting to lose steam and that people aren't buying them as, well, as much as they did before. And I think it's just because the characters that they're coming out with now are less and less popular. Like, they want to do um, a Mad Hatter next, which is cool, but even I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I, I want, I, I really like Mad Hatter as a character, but I don't know if I need the 60s version of it. But they did mention that they want a Mr. Freeze, which I, uh, which I do want, absolutely. So I really hope they stick with it. I hope they keep putting these things out because I really love them. Uh, I'll buy almost anything from the 60s. They want to do a King Tut, which I probably will not buy. But I will definitely be on board for uh, a Mr. Freeze or an Alfred, which they said Alfred would be the last piece that they do from this line. So anyway, guys, um, just wanted to share this with you real quick. Love Tweeter Head. I love the 60s Batman show. Uh, let me put him in the case and uh, we'll see what he looks like. All right. So there he is in the case with all the others. You can see I have, uh, he's my fifth Tweeter Head piece now. Looks great. They just look so good together. So yeah, very happy with this. Highly recommend. If you guys uh, haven't bought any Tweeter Head pieces, check them out. You know, they're doing the Superpowers line. Um, they're one of the very few companies right now who are actually making DC pieces because, you know, with the DCEU not doing so well, companies just aren't doing a lot of DC stuff. So it's cool that Tweeter Head is around making us cool DC stuff. So yeah, guys, check them out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.